All right, now to the surge in stolen cars in Metro Detroit. That crime up more than 50% from last year in Dearborn alone. The problem is forcing city leaders to take action. That was in Dearborn today as a new task force was announced, and I spoke to someone about how she was impacted when her vehicle was stolen. It's a devastating feeling. It It'll send you into depression. It'll send you into a spiral, and it also just makes you so angry because there's nothing that you can do. Charmaine Neal is the executive director of Hey Y'all Detroit, a neighborhood organization that provides free resources for struggling communities. Last September, their vehicle was stolen and stripped for its parts. We're still handicapped. We're still trying to recover from our vehicle being taken with all those things. Uh, people, I've said this before, people didn't get food that, that week. Today, a group of local law enforcement agencies announced an auto theft task force in Dearborn, along with Dearborn Mayor Abdullah Hamoud. This issue wasn't just unique to the city of Dearborn. The reality was thefts that occurred in neighboring cities uh, bled into the city of Dearborn, and thefts that occurred in Dearborn uh, chased out, out, out of the city of Dearborn. Now that combining of forces is a reality. What is your hope that this task force can do? Uh, I think if we are able to prevent the theft before it ever occurs, you're not only going to see a significant decrease in the number of auto thefts that happen, but you're also going to see a significant decrease in the other violent crimes that also occur. What you see over here are a number of cars that were recently taken in a search warrant um, by our task force that we just launched. Dearborn Police Chief Issa Shaheen explained auto thefts are up 53% over the last year in Dearborn alone. But it's not just a Dearborn problem. What kind of people are stealing vehicles? Yeah, so it's really all over the place, but you know, one of the things we've seen a trend is that they're getting younger and younger. Uh, and so you know, you've seen things like social media putting out the TikTok challenge for Kias and Hyundais. How easy is it to steal some of these cars? So it's incredibly easy, depending on the manufacturer. So as many of you might have seen, Kia and Hyundai could be stolen with a USB. Uh, Chrysler products can be stolen with a ProPad. Shaheen says anyone participating in the ecosystem that supports these thieves should also be warned. I want to be clear, this task force that we just launched is not just uh, about catching the offenders, but also the people that are buying stolen parts, that are trading in those parts. Charmaine Neal reacted to the news. I'm very excited that a task force is finally being put together. We need something. We can't keep doing the same thing over and over again, expecting new results. Now, the DA's office is also assigning a special prosecutor with a history of going after such thieves. Clearly, this is something garnering a lot of attention and resources, but with such high numbers, it is much needed. And Carolyn, as you heard, it's just young kids, not just young, but also including these very young kids, and that's a big difference. And, and it's everywhere, whether you're in Dearborn or Detroit or Birmingham, and it's just a matter of opportunity. If they see a car and they want to take it, they're doing it. And a lot of times it's just for the Instagram or the TikTok, you know? Yeah, so I'm glad All they're right. doing something about it. Hopefully it will work, right? Yep.